Now, Academy School District 20 is holding an informational session for a plan to fund school renovations. The district calls it a quote once in a generation opportunity to rebuild Air Academy, which is nearly 70 years old. The session is being held at the D20 Education and Administration Center. That's where Cardio 13 investigator Michael Longerwell joins us live from breaking down how some parents feel about the plan. Michael. The district increased the bond amount from 69 million to 83 million, but some parents who contacted KRDO 13 investigates wants the school district to conduct a full needs-based assessment to figure out what's wrong and what schools are in most need of repairs. I feel that putting X amount of dollars towards something without having a full needs-based assessment is not very resp fiscally responsible. I have an issue that they didn't do any assessment, they didn't talk to any parents, they didn't put together any committees or do anything to get input. KRDO 13 investigates brought these concerns straight to the Academy District 20 Chief Financial Officer. Rest assured, community members, there was a process to identify what projects are being utilized for the $23 million. Becky Allen, D20's chief financial officer, says the district spoke with principals and picked projects that would make the biggest impact on their respective schools. But the district says it didn't have time to do a full assessment. That's because they say they learned about the Federal Public Schools on Military Installations program, which is covering 80% of the Air Academy High School rebuild in May and next year. Even if the bond passes, even if it fails, their levy will decrease next year. And so that does not come around all the time. Allen says the mill levy is decreasing by $9 million. The district says this means taxpayers can fund this bond while still seeing their taxes decrease next year. It is an unequivocal no for me. The school board is holding an informational meeting at the administrative building behind me tonight. They have more meetings scheduled for later this month and earlier next month. Reporting from Academy District 20, Michael Lagerwell, KRDO 13 Investigates.